All right, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. People, let me, let me give you some good understanding. I believe every word of God. I believe every word of God. Everything Jesus say, I believe it. I believe be perfect. I believe go and sin no more. I, I believe it. He said it. So I believe it. Now, I also believe Jesus said, beware of false prophets. Jesus said, beware of false prophets. Yeah, beware of false prophets. No, we, we ain't talking about Buddha and Krishna and Kingdom Hall and the mosque and he do it like it. You don't. You don't. Uh, you don't be well there. Yeah, we 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 go to all the way to preach the gospel, and when we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know there ain't no salvation in none of them, but only Jesus. And whoever here, they will leave them and come along with us who are following Jesus. Jesus said, beware of all problems. We believe that. And we do that. That's why we speak against fall problems. Wait a minute. Among us, among us, I'm pretty sure. It's, it, well, I'm not gonna speak. I'm not gonna speak what I don't know. But in recent years, the convocation, the, the convocation of the Church of God of Christ is going on right now. In recent years, the bishops that they, the presiding bishop, bring no fault prophets. To the holy convocation and have them to preach. That's dangerous, bishops. That's dangerous. Jesus said, Be well, them. The Bible says, Let there be a curse. In Revelation, the Holy Ghost bring the scripture as I'm talking. In Revelation, he said, You I have someone against you. You you have them there that hold the doctrine of Balaam. You got them there in your midst. He said you you suffer that woman Jezebel to teach, and you serve authority to teach rather, and to teach my service to cycle to eat these sacrifice to idols and to commit fornication. You got Jezebel there. Holy, holy man and woman of God. You tell you got these false prophets among us. You brought them in. Uh-huh. Jesus said, you got them there. Galatians 1 and 8 say, let there be a curse. Let there be a curse. All right, go to the book of Titus. Pick, wake up. They're going to deceive people. You got their folk coming there? I can remember years ago, I know of a case. A false prophet test. Came to our church. And a lot of the members left and went with her. And she was false. These false prophets, men, men of God, women of God, these false prophets that you bring in, in among us, 
they're going to cause somebody's soul to go to hell. They're going to cause some people to believe false doctrine. They're going to cause people to turn away their ears from the truth. If you bring them in, they're going to deceive the people. You're not preaching against them before you bring them in. Go to give me Titus, the book of Titus 1 and 11. The book of Titus 1 and 11. I'm showing you danger. We, last year this time, you had two false prophets preaching at the Holy Convocation. Todd Hall. Three well, we had three. And Bishop Shelvin. And Darren Hyde co signed with the fall prophet Three well. The here is the days of Titus one and eleven. Don't you know that Paul probably going to send the people to hell, preacher? Tie the one ain't let. We need to tie the one and ten. For there are many unrulers and vain talkers and deceivers, especially them by the circumcision. Meaning the Jews. And you know what they told you. You got to keep the law to be saved. You know that. Whose mouths must be stopped. We go stop your mouth. God knows. People going to hear the truth. People that didn't know the truth. They going to hear the truth. They're going to let you be a curse. Who mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses. They deceiving and subverted whole households. Whole churches. They deceiving whole churches. Turning people away from God. But you let them in. Who subvert whole household teaches things which they are not, what they are not, for fear the Lucas say. You know they do doing that. Look over the glasses. You know they're telling you. You want a blessing now. Uh, uh, give this money. So is he. Pay tithes and offer now, and you want a blessing. The money going to lay pocket. God ain't getting it. You buy a blessing now. I, I got a plan. I got a vision. So into so into the man of God, uh, so into good ground, so into fertile ground. Help, help enhance the kingdom. For fear that Lucas say, they tell you it. What they tell you is to get you to give money to them. For fear that Lucas say, one of themselves. Even a prophet of their own. Said the creatures are always liars. Evil beasts. Slow belly. This witness is true. 
Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in faith, not giving heed to his fables or commandments of men that turn from the truth. That's why we got to speak against him. That's why we got to speak against him. That's why we got to teach against him. I don't care if you're pastor or your bishop. That's why we got to teach against him. Ain't nobody perfect. So people comfortable in that city because ain't nobody perfect. But first thing, first thing you say, well, ain't nobody perfect. When you, when you tell them about they say, well, ain't nobody perfect. All right, I want Romans chapter 7, I think, 7, 16. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them with called division and offense, contrary to the doctrine, not contrary to your pastor's rule. For we said, well, folk, folk don't obey the pastor. No, you better obey God. Contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. You avoid them. For they are they they for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. That's what they serve themselves, their own belly. Money, glory, fame. Prestige, Papa Lad. Mm. They serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fast speeches, deceive the heart of the simple. Everybody, it's folks among you believe anything, believe everything. But you got to avoid them. You got to teach against them. If it's in your power, but sit them down. They deceive, deceive the heart of the simple. It, everybody have not, have not grown up in Christ. They pray. They can be deceived. You better get them fall prophet out of your church. You better sit them down. Don't give them no seat in your church. Don't let them preach nothing. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Deceive. 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 Now, go to Proverbs chapter 1. Hallelujah. In transparent, I learned this scripture as a child. I heard the the pastor, well, my late father, he used to preach this all the time. Proverbs chapter 1. At verse 20. Let's see who the, who the, who the simple is. Will the cry without, Proverbs 1 20. Will cry without? She uttered her voice in the street. Wisdom crying out. When we preach the word of God, that wisdom. She cried in the cheap place of concord, in the openings of the gate. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, you simple one, when you love simplicity? That's why we cried out and let you know. And the scorn. And the scorners delighted that scorning. <coughs> when you gonna change, man? How long you gonna love this? That's evil. How long you gonna be evil? And fools hate knowledge. You hate knowledge. That, that, that's simple. You hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof, and I will pour my spirit unto you, and I will make known my word unto you. Turn now. Turn. I'm trying to correct you. I'm trying to help you. Turn now. We 
got to preach. We got to preach against you, false prophet. Say we got to preach against you. I don't care if you're your pastor. I don't care who you are. Paul said, though we, if we, if I come preaching to the other gospel, let me be a curse. And third, second John say, though, if they don't bring this gospel, don't let them be in your house, neither be them God's speed. The civil folk looking at you, joining hand in hand with the false prophet. They deceive. The false prophet going to deceive them. They going to deceive them. They going to deceive them. When I was coming up, hallelujah, they say, you don't need everybody at table. Well, if, if you bring the false prophet to our table now, you bring, the, you bring the false table in among us now, and you eat with them. They, they going to deceive the people. They going to deceive the people. They going to call people to lose their soul. And you bring them in among us. You to blame too. That's enough. Thank you for that.